Hi everyone, this is Galen Martling. Today I am going to show how I add art, or one way that I add art to Bible journaling. And so this is something I like to do every now and then. And I love using these stamps by Unity. I use Joy of Baby Jesus stamp and scallops and circles dies. So I used um, two stamps that are in the same kit. And I also have a creative Bible called My Creative Bible. I like it because it has margins on the sides and some of the uh, printing is on there that's all ready to color. So I colored the right side with colored pencils and um, that was very easy to do. I didn't show that on camera, but I will show how I add ink blending to add background color. Very simply, I use three shades of Distress Oxide ink, and I just use a blending brush um, that is the larger size because I'm gonna do a larger area, and I just very lightly with a light hand just do circular motions with a little bit of ink on that blending brush. And then, um, you know, you wanna, Choose the colors that you want. I like to coordinate my right side and left side of the pages. Um, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. This time I am because I think that the writing on the, the printing on the right side is going to match and coordinate with what I'm going to put on the left side. And so um, I try to get the pages that work for the sentiments and the theme. And so I just go ahead and I use a brown, a blue, and a yellow and alternate the blending of it. I want a more of a distressed look for these pages. And um, so I, I added some vintage photo, I believe that is um, color, just to mix in around there to add a little richness. And so that's the way I, I added color to the right side. And so the only difference is I use color pencils to color in the opening of those, those letters on the right side. It's all ready to color. You can use whatever you have. So I chose color pencils because of the fine point on them. Now for the stamping, you just, for, I wanted to color this with Copic markers, this, this stamp but if you use color markers it will bleed through to the page to the back side of the page so i like to stamp on cardstock first with copic friendly ink and add copic coloring to whatever it is i'm going to use um but and then to add it to the page i just uh you can die cut it out if you have a die cut that's narrow like that, but I decided to fussy cut it and just use scissors. But for now, I'm just adding layers of very, very light muted colors. I just felt like this needed to be in very light colors. So I added some blues, teal, tans, yellow, cream colors to finish this off. And so this is so beautiful. I know that some of the design team members used this on a card and that's fine too. The beauty of stamping is you can use them on in lots of ways. And so I'm adding this one for Bible journaling and it's really Bible art that I add. I like doing that for my personal journaling. I do that later on and write what I want to write later, but for the art, I show you that in videos. So, um, this is just a way to add color. Now, it's actually three ways to add color. One is by Copic markers, the other is ink blending, and the, and the third one is color pencils. That's just for this example. I've even added watercolor to Bible journaling. And um, on my blog, you'll see a link for Bible journal. If you click on that, you'll see other ways that I add art to my Bible. And it's all versatile and however you'd like to interpret things. And so I like to use, I like to make cards with art, but also in Bible journaling. And so here's the left side and the right side. I just really like how it turned out. It's very relaxing. I hope you give it a try. Thanks so much for watching. Please take a moment to subscribe, like, and share, and have a wonderful day.